hello students we are solving the ib math ea agile past papers and from today we start to solve the ib math ea agile may 2022 paper 3 time zone 2 past paper today we will be solving the question number 1 of this paper and you will be getting the links of course we will be solving the question number 2 as well but that will be done in the next session okay and you will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of the other papers in form of playlists in my channel in this online math tutoring classes so without any further delay let us start answering question number 1 the maximum mark is 28 this question asks you to explore properties of a family of curves of the type y square equal to x cube plus ax plus b for various values of a and b where a and b belong to the set of natural numbers and you know the natural number set starts with 1 okay subpart a is question it is containing two further subparts it is saying on the same set of axes sketch the following curves for x is greater than or equal to negative 2 but is less than or equal to positive 2 and y is less than or equal to negative 2 but is less than or, uh, sorry y is greater than or equal to negative 2 but is less than or equal to positive 2 clearly indicating any points of intersection with the coordinate axis means that means the we have to specify the x and the y intercepts okay and the i is sketch the graph of y square equal to x cube where x is greater than or equal to 0 and i i is y square equal to x cube plus 1 where x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and as you are seeing these are not functions definitely these are relations and i have shown you how to sketch relations using the ti inspire calculator but in case in your exam mode if you are not allowed to sketch the relation then you have to you have no other choice but to go for the function graphs so for that you have to just take the square root for this it will be y will be equal to plus minus square root of x cube and we have to sketch the positive square root of x cube and negative square root of x cube we have to sketch both of them but we have to do them separately okay and for this it will be y is equal to plus minus square root of x cube plus 1 okay and it is paper 3 so of course we will be using the calculator let us see what shapes do we get for these two okay okay and first one was y equals positive square root of x cube and negative square root of x cubed square root x raised to the power sorry my goodness escape let us better to escape and come to this function and square root and x raised to the power of 3 okay sketch this is the positive square root of x cube and let us find the negative square root of x cube okay negative square root x to the power of 3 okay so these are the two the both of them taken together will be y square equal to x cube graph okay i am just showing you the process of getting the graph when you have a relation given and then you have to just convert it to a function expression that means uh, i have taken i did not take the plus minus together that would have been the relation but it is 
I have taken the positive side and the negative side separately. Okay. Now we come to this part. This will be the shape of y square equal to x cube. Let me get this shape of this also together. It will be y equals plus minus square root of x cube plus 1. Okay. So again, tab. Find square root of x cube plus 1. Fine. And uh, another is negative. Negative square root of x cube plus 1. Okay. Fine. And now we have to change the window settings. This should be from negative 2 to positive 2. Negative 2 to positive 2 and this also negative 2 to positive 2. Okay. Let it stay over here. Let it go over there. Yeah. This can come to this place. Fine. So these are the two graphs, okay? And what is this zero? I can find out it is halfway between zero and negative two. Most probably it is zero and negative one. Let's check. Zero, this graph, it is negative one, okay? And this is the zero of this one, which is the origin. So we have got the two graphs and now it's the time to sketch, okay? So this is the, these are the two graphs that I have drawn. I took a lot of time. That is why I did not draw while recording. And uh, I can show you these are the y-intercepts that I have found out. I am showing you this part I did not show before. Uh, I have used the graph phrase. You could have used uh, drawn the vertical line as well. In case you are not being able to draw the vertical line using the menu and going to graphs and then you, you go to uh, equation template, you go to lines and then vertical lines. I have shown this many times before in some other questions while solving some other questions. So. In case you can draw the vertical line x equal to 0, then you can get the intersection points, the coordinates of the intersection points of the two graphs, and you can get the coordinates. This one is 0, 1, and this one is 0, negative 1. This x-intercept is negative 1, 0. And this is, of course, the origin, 0, 0. Okay? In case you are not being able to, that feature has got disabled in the exam mode, Use the graph trace feature to get to these coordinates, okay? <laughs> Not everything will be disabled, okay? Uh, so, and I have shown you how to sketch these uh, relations in case you cannot sketch the relation directly. And in our uh, future subparts, you have uh, uh, in this very question where we have to again sketch uh, relations over there, I will be using the uh, sketching of relation feature that is uh, going to the graphs and uh, trying to sketch a relation. Because if I again, over and over again, I go to plus and minus separately, it will be taking quite a lot of time. So I have shown you in case you have to sketch a relation and you cannot sketch it directly, how to 
what is the way out, how to sketch it. You convert it to, since you are taking the square root, you will be taking plus and minus and you will be drawing them separately. Okay. So this is the graph that, uh, these are the two graphs in fact that I have drawn. And uh, you see for this x is greater than or equal to zero. In fact, you see the the leftmost end of this graph, the blue colored one, which is having the equation y square equal to x cube is ending at zero comma zero, the origin. So uh, it is of course, x is greater than or equal to zero. And for the second one, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And that is also true. The leftmost point is negative 1 comma 0. Okay. So we are done with subpart A. Subpart B, it is also having two further subparts. Write down the coordinates of the two points of inflection. Okay. On the curve of y square equal to x cubed plus 1. Okay. Inflection, point of inflection means the second derivative should be equal to 0. Just by inspection, I can say that uh, I feel that uh, there is one inflection point at this y equal to 0, means 0 comma 1 and another at 0 comma negative 1. But in case you are not sure, it is containing just a single mark. If you don't have time, you just depend on your that feeling. What do you feel? And you give your uh, the coordinates accordingly because if you lose, if you are not correct, you lose just a single mark. But in case you are having, uh, actually, you will be having uh, so many questions remaining because this is the subpart B, only the subpart B of question number one. So I would suggest not to uh, spend more time use uh, answer all the two questions totally and then in case you have some time remaining with you and you may just check i'm showing you how to check your answer you have to get the second derivative plain and simple so uh, y square equal to x cube plus one right so it will be uh, 2y this was actually the subpart a this is the subpart b b i rather 2y dy dx i'm going for implicit differentiation is equal to 3x square so therefore dy dx is equal to 3x square over 2y okay fine but i have to get to d2y by dx square so d2y by dx squared, this time I'll be using the quotient rule. It is 2y whole square. And derivative of 3x squared with respect to x is 6x times 2y minus 3x squared. Derivative of 2y is 2 and dy dx. And this should be equal to 0. Okay. Fine. So let me just write. So the, because this is a fractional form of expression and this is equal to 0, therefore the numerator expression should be equal to 0. So 6x times 2y is 12xy. And this one is 3 times 2 is 6 minus 6 x square. And what is dy dx? dy dx is 3x square over 2y. Okay. So 3x square over 2y is equal to 0. Fine. This is actually 12xy. minus 18 x to the power of 4 or uh, I can just cancel this. So this will be 9. Okay. 9 x to the power of 4 over y. 
And if I take, a, if I make y the common denominator, what happens? If this is also having the denominator of y, this y in the numerator will get squared. So it is 12xy squared minus 9x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Again, a fractional form. So the numerator should be equal to 0. That means 12xy squared minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. So I can write this as I can take 3x common and 3x common and this is 4y square minus 3x square is equal to 0. Okay. So that means either x equal to 0 plus 3 is definitely not equal to 0 or 4y square is equal to 3x square or y square equal to 3 over 4x square. Okay. Fine. x equal to 0, we have seen these two points. In fact, we had guessed these two points to be the points of inflection x equal to 0, 0 comma 1 and 0 comma negative 1. These two points we had thought of these two points before. Okay. Let's see in addition to this x equal to 0, I am having uh, this part as well. Can we take this part? The equation is y square equal to x cube plus 1 and y square equal to 3 over 4x to the power of 2 means uh, 3 over 4 x squared. So I can write this as 3 over 4 x squared is equal to x cube plus 1. Okay. 3 over 4 uh, x, oh sorry, this is x cube. I'm very sorry. Because uh, this was x to the power of 4 and yeah. Fine. So this is this. Right. So this is in fact equal to, uh, if I take x cube to this side, it is 3 over 4 x cube minus x cube equal to 1. Or this is minus minus x cube is minus 4 over 4 x cube. So this is minus x cube over 4 or 1 fourth x cube is equal to 1. Okay. I don't have, I thought I will be able to con complete this part. So, but for one or two more steps, I, I come to this point. I have no other option okay so negative x cube over 4 is equal to 1 therefore x cube is equal to negative 4 or x is equal to cube root of negative 4 this is with calculator you can get the value of cube root of negative 4 but you really do not need to find this value because we know the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1 and the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Therefore, the cube root of negative 4 should be between negative 1 and negative 2. It should be less than negative 1, but over here they are saying x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So, we cannot take this value of x. Okay. Because this will be giving us a value which will be less than negative 1. But over here the condition is x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And we have to have this, this condition. Even if they had not given this, we are seeing from the graph. The leftmost point of this graph is having coordinates of negative 1, 0. So x cannot be less than negative 1. Therefore, we do not, we cannot take this value of x and the only one value of x that we are having is 
x equal to 0 and the corresponding two y values are y equal to 1 and y equal to negative 1. So let us write the coordinates of the two points. They are 0, 1 and 0, negative 1. Okay. Coming to subpart i, i. By considering each curve from part A, identify two, two key features that would distinguish one curve from the other. That means we have to give two features which are not similar but which are dissimilar, which identify them. So, the first thing that I am seeing is the x intercept. The x intercept of y square equal to x cube is at x equal to 0. And for y square equal to x cube plus 1, it is at x equal to negative 1. So this is one of the features which is distinguishing the two graphs. So let us write this. First one is the x intercept for y square equal to x cube is at or x equal to 0. Okay. And the x intercept for y square equal to x cube plus 1 is x equal to negative 1. Okay. So, this is one of the key features and the second key feature will be, you see the y intercept for y square equal to x cube, you are having a single y intercept that is at y equals 0 and x y square equal to x cube plus 1 is having two y intercepts, one at y equal to 1 and another at y equals negative 1, okay? Okay, I can just write at x equal to 0 and this is also at x equal to negative 1 and for the second key feature, the y intercept, for y square equal to x cube is at y equals 0 and the y intercept sorry y intercept for y square equal to x cube plus 1 is at y equal to 1 and y equals negative 1. Okay. Now consider curves of the form y square equal to x cube plus b for x greater than or equal to negative cube root of b where b belongs to the set of positive integers. Okay, that means we can be 1, 2, 3, 4, anything, starting from 1. Subpart C's question is by varying the value of B suggests two key features common to these graphs. Okay, let us again bring the graph. This was for B equal to 1. Let us take the uh, B equal to B equal to uh, I'm having till negative 10. I, I assume that it will be going to the left. So I'm having till negative 10. So let me take, say, uh, x cube plus 3 or x cube plus 4. Uh, 
you can take x cube plus 4 because this is a an odd number i am taking another as an even number y square equal to x cube plus 4 enter okay let me take uh, y square equal to x cube plus 7 okay y square equal to x cube plus sorry plus 7 it will be going on like this and we have to give the two common features between them the two common features which just readily which are catching my eyes are the first one is all of them have a single x intercept and two y intercepts so let me write this one is single x intercept and 2 is 2 y intercepts okay fine we have answered subpart c next consider the curve y square equal to x cube plus x x is greater than or equal to 0 Subpart D again containing two further subparts. I is show that dy dx equal to plus minus 3x square plus 1 over 2 times square root of x cube plus x for x greater than 0, greater than not equal to. Containing three marks. Fine. So this is D, di. y square equal to x cube plus x i am going for the implicit differentiation so it is 2y dy dx is equal to 3x square plus 1 okay and so dy dx is equal to 3x square plus 1 over 2y or dy dx is equal to now y square is equal to x cube plus x let me write this uh, like uh, over here y square equal to x cube plus x so y should be equal to plus minus square root of x cube plus x okay so therefore this is 3 x square plus 1 and uh, this plus minus sign is written in front and this is 2 times square root of x cube plus x yeah and of course x is greater than 0 because if x is equal to 0 you'll be having 0 in the denominator which you cannot have so x is greater than 0 so this is the This is the answer for the subpart I of subpart D and I I coming to this part D I I. What is it? 
Hence, deduce that the curve y square equal to x cube plus x has no, no local minimum or maximum points. Now, if these are stationary points, so if the curve has a stationary point, then uh, at that at those points, dy dx has to be equal to zero. So uh, dy dx equal to zero. implies 3x square plus 1, the numerator should be equal to 0, equal to 0, or 3x square is equal to negative 1, or x square is equal to negative 1 third. No real root. x square equal to a negative number implies that you don't have any real root. Therefore, y square equal to x cube plus x has no local minimum. or maximum points. Okay. The curve y square equal to x cube plus x has two points of inflection. Due to the symmetry of the curve, these points are the same x coordinate. The subpart E's question is find the value of this x coordinate giving your answer in the form of x equal to square root of p times square root of 3 plus q over r where p, q and r are integers. They belong to the set of integers. And this contains 7 marks. This subpart E contains 7 marks. Okay, and we had already found the expression for dy dx in our previous subpart. It was plus minus 3x squared plus 1 over 2 times square root of x cubed plus x. And of course, x has to be greater than 0. Now, since we have to find the point of inflection, we have to get the second derivative which should be equal to 0. So, we have to differentiate this. So d2y by dx square. Let me, let me just write it over here. Okay. So, d2y by dx square is equal to plus minus, it stays or let me just take the plus minus along with the 3x squared plus 1, okay? And I am using the quotient rule. So, 2 times square root of x cubed plus x whole square. And the derivative of that is plus minus 6x and times by this x cube plus x minus, uh, this is plus minus, so uh, minus of plus minus, it is minus plus, because if we take the plus sign, it will be minus and if we take the minus sign, it will be plus. So, I am taking minus plus and 3x squared plus 1. Derivative of this, it is 2 and 2 is the coefficient. So, it is staying and this is x cubed plus x whole raised to the power of half. So, half comes down and x cubed plus x 
raised to the power of half minus 1, which is negative half. And then we will be differentiating the expression x cube plus x, which is equal to 3x square plus 1. Okay, so this is the expression which I can simplify, at least try to simplify. And this should be equal to 0, in fact. So, therefore, the numerator should be equal to 0. So, I am taking this 12, 2 times 6 is 12, 12x, 12 and this is x cube plus minus x cube plus x, and that is minus plus. This is 3x squared plus 1, this is 3x squared plus 1, and this one is 3x squared plus 1 whole square over square root of x cube plus x, because this is raised to the power of negative half, okay? This is equal to 0. So, this is so, I can take this to that side, to the right side, it becomes plus minus 12x and square root of x cubed plus x equal to, because I am taking to the other side, the, if it is minus, it will become plus and if it is plus, it will become minus. So, it is plus minus 3x square plus 1 whole square over x cube plus x. And uh, as you had seen for the dy dx also, uh, x was greater than 0. Over here also, x has to be greater than 0 because otherwise you will be having a 0 in the denominator. And uh, because you are having plus minus on this side and plus minus on this side, so if it, it is plus to plus and minus to minus, so you can cancel them. And uh, I am multiplying the entire equation by square root of x cubed plus x. So this gives us 12x and square root of x cubed plus x times square root of x cubed plus x will be just x cubed plus x is equal to 3x square plus 1 whole square. And I can just expand this and I get 12x to the power of 4 plus 12x square. And this side, the right hand side is 9x to the power of 4 plus 6x square a plus b whole square, okay, and plus 1, fine. So, this is equal to uh, 12x square. I am bringing all the terms to the left-hand side. So, 12x to the power of 4 minus 9x to the power of 4 is 3x to the power of 4. And 12x square minus 6x square is plus 6x square and minus 1 is equal to 0. And uh, let e equal to x square. Okay. So, the equation becomes a quadratic equation 3a square plus 6a minus 1 equal to 0. And of course, we cannot factorize this and uh, we have to use the quadratic formula. So, e is equal to minus 6 plus minus square root of 6 square is 36 and minus 4 times e is 3, minus 4 times 3 is minus 12 c is minus 1. Minus 12 times minus 1 is plus 12. 
over 2a, 2 times e, this is the, do not get confused with this e, okay? It is this the coefficient of the term containing the square. So it is 2 times 3, which is 6. So this is minus 6 plus minus square root of 36 plus 12 is 48 over 6. And uh, so uh, 48 is what? 48 is 12 times 4. 12 times 4 or, okay, let us just, okay, 16 times 3 is 48. Okay, I don't have to draw. Or else you can just uh, get the prime factors. It is 2 times 24. 12 to 6 and 2, 3. So, you 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So, 16 times 3 is 48 and since it is the square root, it will be minus 6 plus minus 4 root 3. We have come to the root 3 part, see. Okay, so e is equal to minus 6 plus minus 4 root 3 over 6. Therefore, x square is equal to minus 6 or, or I can, what was the format? Oh, there was something in the denominator, so let me keep that something. Okay, so uh, x square equal to minus 6 plus minus 4 root 3 over 6. And most probably they have not taken this plus minus. Okay, they have taken only the plus sign. Only the plus sign. Okay, x has to be greater than 0. Let us see. And uh, over here also, there's only the plus sign because x is greater than 0. Let, let us see what happens. Okay. So, uh, you can check. Really, we really do not have to check because uh, minus 6 and minus 4 root 3, if, it is, if we take minus 4 root 3, the numerator will be a negative number. x squared equal to some negative number. That means x will not have any real value, okay? So we cannot take that. And minus 6 plus 4 root 3, and in case you are not sure whether minus 6 plus 4 root 3 is a positive value, uh, is a positive number or not, you can go to the calculator and uh, let us check that calculator. Uh, negative 6 plus 4 times root 3. See, it is a positive value, okay? Therefore, we have to take the positive sign. So, therefore, x, x is equal to negative 6 plus 4 root 3 over 6 because x is greater than 0. Okay. So, this is the answer for the value of x. I'm not sure. Most probably they have written, uh, okay, let me just, uh, they have written the root 3 per, uh, first. So, let us, let me just give them the values of p and uh, q and r separately. So, I am writing p is equal to 4, q is equal to negative 6, and r is equal to positive 6. Okay. Exy, p with coordinates x comma y in fact, 
is defined to be a rational point on a curve if x and y are rational numbers. The tangent to the curve y squared equal to x cube plus ax plus b at a rational point p intersects the curve at another rational point q. Let c be the curve y squared equal to x cube plus 2 for x greater than or equal to negative cube root of 2. The rational point P with coordinates negative 1, comma, negative 1 lies on C. Subpart A again containing two further subparts. The subpart I's question is find the equation of the tangent to C at point P. Okay, so tangent is a straight line and in order to get an equation of a straight line, we need to, to Information one is one of the points which is on the straight line, and we are having the coordinates of that point. This is the point P with coordinates negative one and negative one, and the other one, other information that we require is the gradient or the tangent. So for that we need dy dx. So this is dy dx. So y square is equal to x cube plus two. Therefore, again, implicit differentiation, 2y dy dx is equal to 3x square. And so dy dx is equal to 3x square over 2y at when x equal to negative 1, y equal to negative 1, dy dx is equal to 3 times negative 1 whole square over 2 times negative 1. So this is negative 1 whole square is positive 1, so 3 over negative 2, okay, so which is negative 3 over 2. Fine. So now we can, I'm coming to this point. So it is y minus y1. y minus y1 is negative 1. So minus of minus 1 is y plus 1. Equal to m is negative 3 over 2 x minus x1 minus of x1 is negative 1 so minus of minus 1 is positive 1 so it is x plus 1 you can keep it this way or else you may just rearrange and it will be y equals negative 3 over 2 negative 3 over 2 x and negative 3 over 2 and negative 1 which gives the expression or equation of the tangent as negative 3 over 2x. And this minus 1 is minus 2 over 2. So it is minus 5 over 2. So this is the equation of the tangent okay. to C at point P. Coming to I, I. Hence find, the, hence, find the coordinates of the rational point Q, where this tangent intersects C. Yes, they had said that the tangent will be intersecting the curve C at another rational point that is named as Q, expressing each coordinate as a fraction. This is important. You cannot write any decimal number. Okay. Okay, and expressing each coordinate as a fraction means that means they want the exact coordinates. It is not an approximation. Okay, fine. So, I I. Let us first of all get the graph x cube plus two uh, most probably I am having the graph. Let me see. And this is the equation of the tangent. Or else I may 
I may draw this once more because this graph, uh, the this one is containing so many graphs. So better to graph again this portion, y square equal to x cube plus 2, okay? Add graphs. It is relation y square equals x cube plus 2. Enter. And the equation of the tangent is negative 3 over 2x minus 5 over 2. Okay. Function negative 3 over 2 negative 3 over 2 times x negative minus 5 over 2. Okay. So this is the tangent. Let me uh, just see. Let us check. Analyze graph and intersection. See, this is minus 1 and minus 1. This line is the tangent at, uh, to the curve at negative 1, comma negative 1 that we know and we have ver verified also. Okay. The line will be crossing the, yeah, you see this tangent line is crossing the curve over here. So we have to get the coordinates of this point. Sorry. Okay. Now we are having a, the, in decimals and we I'm not sure whether these are approximate values or, or are these exact values. One thing that I am seeing is uh, the, for the y coordinate, I'm having four digits. And for the x coordinate, I'm having three digits. So I'm assuming that uh, 4.25 is the exact value because if there were more number of non zero digits, then at least uh, I would have got the fourth digit also. But in order to be sure, what you can do is, because you have to convert whatever decimal value you are getting, you have to convert them to uh, the corresponding fractions. But before corresponding, uh, converting them to corresponding fractions, you have to be sure whether these numbers are approximate values or they are the exact uh, coordinates, okay, given in decimals. For that, you can go to this settings, okay? And go to settings and you see display digits is, I have kept it as six decimal numbers, okay? So, but, okay, let me just change it and let me show you. If, if it is, uh, okay, cancel first of all. Uh, it is, uh, they will be giving us me six decimal numbers if there are six non zero decimal digits okay and over here one two three four and this is negative eight point eight seven five and this is four point two five okay now i will be changing the settings this one let me take it to four because usually we take up to three significant figures so let me take it to four okay and okay this um, 
Okay, again they are giving. Okay, let me take it to three. Let me take it to three. See, now it has changed. Now it has changed. So, in case your calculator is having the settings as float 3, you do not know whether these are the actual values or just approximation. So, in order to know whether these are approximations or these are the exact values, you just go to the settings and take at least float 6. Okay, six or eight, whatever you want. I have seen that float six is sufficient, I think. And you are again getting these values back to the original thing. 4.25 and negative 8.875. Now we are sure that these values are the exact decimal values. These are not approximations. So now we can get their corresponding fractions, okay? First one is 4.25. So 4.25 numbers convert to approximate fraction. Enter. 17 over 4. Okay. What is the other one? Negative 8.875. Okay. Negative 8.875. Numbers approximate to fraction. Enter. Negative 71, point, uh, 71 over 8. Okay. So the coordinates will be 17 over 4, comma negative 71 over 8. Okay. So this is the rough sketch that I have drawn. Of course, this, this tangent at negative 1, comma negative 1, it is... It is cutting the graph, but it is actually not cutting the graph. It is a tangent to the curve at this point. And over here, the decimal coordinates that we had found using the calculator, the graphical part, were 4.25 and negative 8.875. So uh, the coordinates of point Q will be in in fractions will be 4.25 is 17 over 4. So, 17 over 4 comma negative 8.875 is negative 71, uh, 71 over 8. So, negative 71 over 8. Okay. The part G. The point is with coordinates negative 1 comma 1 also lies on C. C was having this equation y square equal to x cube plus 2 for x greater than or equal to negative cube root of 2. The line QS intersects C at a further point determine the coordinates of this point. So first of all we have to get the equation of the line QS and the coordinates of the point Q where 17 over 4 and negative 71 over 8. So, first of all, the gradient m equal to y2 minus y1. So, let me write, let me take this as y2 minus of minus 71 over 8. And uh, x2 is negative 1 and negative 17 over 4. Okay. So this is 1 plus 71 over 8 and uh, negative. 1 plus 17 over 4. So this one will be 8 plus 71 is 79 over 8 
and let me write the minus sign outside and this is 4 plus 17 is 21. 21 over 4 so this is negative 79 over 8 times 4 over 21. Okay, and this is negative 79 over 42. Fine. And uh, so this is the gradient. And we are having, in fact, we are having the coordinates of two points of the lines, but I prefer to take this point. So therefore, equation. of line QS is equal to Y minus Y1. So Y1, this, this one. So it is Y minus 1 equal to M is negative 79 over 42. X minus X1. And x1 is negative 1, so negative of negative 1 is positive 1, which is equal to y equal to negative 79 over 42 x and negative 79 over 42 and plus 1. Okay. Which is y equals negative 79 over 42 x and this plus 1 can be written as 42 over 42. Okay. So, what is negative 79 plus 42 equal to? negative 37 okay so it is negative 37 over 42 this is the equation of the line qs and the the equation of the curve was y square equal to x cube plus 2 so let me just take this the same curve that we had drawn there over here let let me try let me try using this same graph and function it is negative 79 over 42 times x minus 37 sorry 37 over 42 enter my goodness Thirty-seven over forty-two is fine, but this has changed. Negative seventy-nine, seventy-nine over forty-two, plus thirty-seven over negative forty-two is fine. Enter. Fine. So I am seeing that the graph is uh, this uh, line QS is passing through this point. Obviously, uh, the Q 4.25 and negative 8.875. So it is passing through this. And the, the coordinates of S were negative 1, comma 1. So this is this is definitely this point. This point of intersection should be negative 1 comma 1 because it is on the left hand side 
of the y-axis, so x will be negative. And the third point of intersection is over here, whose coordinates we have to get. So analyze graph and intersection and which two graphs, this graph and this graph. First corner, second corner. Okay, so uh, let me bring it over here. Fine, uh, so it is zero point, and uh, did they give him, uh, determine the coordinates of this point? Now they are not asking us to give the uh, coordinates of the in fraction, okay? So therefore, coordinates, of the point of intersection is or rather are This is the final answer, so I'll be giving up to three significant figures. So 0 0.288, comma, 0 negative 1.42. Okay, negative 1.42. Up to three significant figures. So, this is the answer for the subpart G, and we have completed answering question number one of this paper. Thank you for staying with me till the end. I am Nilanjana Sanyal. I am an online IB Math ASL and HL level tutor and I tutor students from both within India and outside India and I offer both one-on-one -on -one and small group online tutoring services to my students. And as you are seeing, Currently, I am solving the IB Math AHL past paper questions and I am uploading these videos in my YouTube channel. And in case you are liking my explanations, please do give this video a like and please do share this video with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In case you have not subscribed till now, it will be motivating me for making more math videos for you. Okay. And we'll be meeting very soon in our next session. And of course, if you are having any confusion, any query related to this question, please feel free to write to me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer your thoughts. And We'll be meeting very soon in our next session. We'll be solving question number two of the same paper. So till then, bye.